Hey guys, how's it going? UAM Loki here. Uh, we're on episode 100 now, so that's pretty cool. Been doing this whole YouTube thing for about two and a half years now. I remember when we only had three subscribers, and now we're here. So, please enjoy some memorable moments on the account. Or if you're not a fan, you can just skip it and start watching the video, it's not a big deal. How's it going guys? Welcome to the first installment of uh, UAM Loki. This is my hardcore Iron Man. Oh my god, is that it? Yes, man, yes, please. Yes, dude. Oh my god, 1 HP. Yes, I think it's Yes, man. Cryptidus, baby. Oh, yes, man. <laughs> oh, the plate of Salador, dude. Dude. Oh, that's the first master casket on the account, man. God, third age plate skirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my 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 god, dude. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. We just fucking got it. Oh, you guys. You got. Please, please. Oh. Oh my god. You guys! Oh my god! Ah, you guys! Ah, we fucking did it! Oh my god! So yeah, here's episode 100. We're doing the Tombs of a Masket. For those of you who don't know, most of you probably know that though. But I guess, as an even broader series, how about episode number 200, or the Heat Death of the Universe? Whichever comes first. How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In the last video, we managed to get ourselves a couple solo purples from the Tombs of a Masket. Spoiler alert, we got the Asmumtum's Fang and the Lightbringer, which is the ring that restores your spec. We just started doing solo expert raids, so these two things are going to be extremely useful. And now I'm just kind of thinking about all these tier 80 weapons we have. We've got the Grazi, so I guess we'll just throw that in the looting bag. Maybe we'll even end up dropping that soon at some point. I'm not in any rush or anything, but just sort of something we might have to to contend with at some point you know and for the astute among you who have been watching this series you'll probably notice that the scythe has kind of just been sitting in the bottom of the inventory uh you don't really use it in the raid i would put it in the looting bag but because it's got this cool ornament kit on it it's actually untradeable and therefore it cannot be put in the looting bag i could just drop the ornament kits to make it tradable once again but i can't bring myself to do that so we're kind of just down one inventory spot which is usually fine all right guys so i just did a little bit of research i found this handy dandy chart that gives all the different damages from all the different weapons you can use at the Tombs of a Masket. Shout out to Mulga Kirby for making this thing. I perhaps should have reacted a little more to the Fang when I got it. I didn't realize that it was actually like this good, but apparently it's like just insanely good here. So, and yeah, according to this chart, it's actually better than the Karis Person of Breaching at Kefri. So, with that all being said, I believe we're done with this thing, the Karis Partisan of Breaching. I guess we can move on, because we aren't going to be using that for anything. It's considered valuable. I could alk it, I'm pretty sure, for like 180k or whatever. Um, I'm just going to not do that. I feel like more honorable to leave it on the ground. That also means we cleared up an inventory space, which is fucking amazing, because I'm a UAM. So, I love it when that happens. I'm pumped, man. I'm so pumped that I'm going to go shave. Wait, what? What does shaving have to do with RuneScape? Fellas, we need to talk. We need to start talking about that foul odor around your gaming station. And no, I'm not talking about those crusty socks. We all know what you do with those socks. I'm talking about that gamer groin you got going on. Listen, we've all been there. Sometimes you just gotta grind 99 runecrafting. And that is where Manscaped comes in. The Performance Package 4.0 by Manscaped has everything you need. Body hair can leave you prone to buildup of sweat and bacteria. Everything that can lead to nasty odors and that swamp crotch feeling. I recommend you get a handle on this with the new lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. It's waterproof and cordless so you can use it in the shower. It's even got an LED light so you can navigate those blind spots with ease. Also included in the performance package are two products that I never knew I needed. Guys, you don't know what you're missing until you've tried ball deodorant. It's honestly life-changing. And say maybe you don't have time to shower. A crop reviver's got you covered. Just two quick spritzes and you're set. Get 20% off plus free shipping when you use my code here at manscaped.com. Your butt, body, and balls will thank you. All right, our first ever swings with the Osmum Ten's Fang. Boom. Look at this. It's a five tick weapon, um, so it's a bit slower than the Grazi. I personally prefer slower attack weapons. Uh, it gives you like more time to position 
your character, which is quite nice. Also, this thing has a spec. Boom, look at that. A 12, we had a 12. Oh, it only takes up 25, dang. I thought it took up 50, cool. The spec actually allows you to hit your true max hit because normally you can only hit up to 85% of your max hit because of that effect I was talking about earlier, but you get increased accuracy by 50%, I'm pretty sure, and you can hit your true max hit. So it's really weird, but never hitting a zero just feels right. Feels really good. Oh my God. This thing just like shreds the obelisk, dude. You just like always hit. It's like super nice. Wow. Yeah, for the core, we were using the Grazi Rapier, of course, as well. I think we're going to either use the Claws or just the DDS once we finish specking. Let's see, because this hits 41. This thing hits 46. Yeah, so we definitely want to be using the Claws for this. Oh, that was sad. Dude, this is even more satisfying. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. That's fucking sexy. I love that one. 6kc. Can we get the back to back? <laughs> no back to back, imagine, dude. Alright, it's catch runes. Raw sharks? That's the first time I've seen that. Can we get the blood runes? No, oh, so runes. That's alright. Just woke up for the day here. Uh, I just looked at the loot table for the tombs of a mess kits. I guess raw sharks are on here after all. But there's actually nothing else that I am gonna get from here that I don't already have in the looting bag aside from soul runes. I guess we'll just start a stack of soul runes in the looting bag because if we get the tumicon shadow, it'll be nice to have a stack of those already going. Each one of these costs like, I don't know, 500 GP at the wizard's guild. So this is like 550k that I'm saving. By the time we get the shadow, hopefully we'll have like, you know, 50,000 soul runes or something. It'll just be super nice to uh, save 25 mil on GP. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but my heart's just pounds every time, man. 7kc. No purple. But that's all right with me, man. First rate of the day. Feeling good. The elite clue. Back-to-back -back elite clues. Nice, man. <laughs> no way. Lemon easy. <laughs> this is the guy who sold me my laptop like a year and a half ago. Just came up on me in game. He said, dude, I sold you your laptop. I told him about my channel, that my laptop was for a YouTube channel. <laughs> I, I said my name was UAM Loki and then I never heard from him again. He had me added. Oh, I see. So he probably hopped to my world. I asked him what he has to say for the people. Shout out to John, my UAM buddy who admires you. You heard it here first, folks. Everybody give John all the love in the world. It's weird that he said he had me added because my private it is always on off or either friends. I don't think I had him added, so I don't know how he found me. That's just like a total coincidence. That's really weird. Unless he's like a hacker because he did work at Best Buy as the computer guy. So like, who knows? Probably listening to me right now, isn't he? We had like lots of brews left, man. That's the most we've ever had at this point. Um, Feels good. Feels good. Feels amazing, actually. <sighs> I feel, I feel great. I feel blessed. No purple, but I honestly don't even care, dude. As long as we're just grinding this, the purples will come. Hey, a catch of runes, 14 toad flex seeds. Can we get the blood runes? Death runes. I guess that's fine too. Fucking clean. Clean. I love this. I love that we're able to grind this now. I feel so comfortable. I'm like, I'm not so comfortable. I'm like maybe 70% comfortable. I don't really have the jitters anymore. Just a little bit, but yes, dude, I'm so happy we're grinding expert modes. It's so efficient. No purple chest, but once again, I don't care. 9kc. <sighs> Feels fucking amazing. I don't even care if that screwed us discarded that. I'm not even phased, man. Let's fucking go grind another one. Ooh, new PB. I think we just beat it by like a whole minute. Holy shit. No purple, unfortunately. All right, some death runes and some poop. That's like definitely a PB in terms of supplies used as well. We go in with four brews. We didn't even use like half that. Honestly, pretty, pretty solid, man. Never survived that shit in my life. No clue how we did that. Maybe, were we praying mage? Did I just learn how to survive that? Okay, I'm gonna try and focus on not dying. Definitely should not have completed that. I don't know how we survived that attack. I'm fucking pumped though. That's fucking sick. We survived the ultimate KO attack. I think it hit us a 68 or something. Yeah, 11kc man. And no purple chest. All right, some catch runes and some soul runes. Can we get the bloods? Hey, 23 fucking million blood runes. I've never had this. Oh my god. Two smelling salts and the two adrenaline that we always get plus five brews in a fucking store. That's insane, man. That's so much stuff. I think my favorite place to use the Azmumten's Fang is on Baba. I swear to god, dude, with the Grazi, you could hit like 10 zeros in a row when the boss is at like 5 HP and you just like lose at life. But this thing like almost never hits zero. It's so consistent. It's just like, I just, it's really good. I love it. Plus the spec is actually pretty good. If you only have like 40 spec left and you can't claw spec, you just use the spec on this thing and it's just like pretty fucking solid. God damn, dude. This is by far the most supplies I've ever had going into the final fight i don't even like can't even fucking think there's so much shit to yeah there's 12 kc 
No purple. Oh shit. <laughs> Another breach of the scarab and two blood essence. Dang. Yeah, that is our third jewel in uh like 70 KC. So I guess for those of you wondering at home, could potentially be somewhat reasonably close to the drop rate. Ayo. Almost a sub 33 minutes. 13 KC new PB. No purple. It feels amazing. Wow, back to back jewel things. Damn, okay. Honestly, I don't even know if this one's good, dude. Uh, that's the one that I'm pretty sure it like has a special attack where whatever target is hit by the special attack has increased damage taken, uh, but it can only be used inside the raid. Oh, it provides a 100% increase to accuracy and a 25% increase to damage. It only lasts for six seconds and it has to be a successful hit for it to take place. I don't know, man. Maybe there's some interesting stuff with that or like using inside the raid with like adrenaline or something. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm going to be like messing around with that uh so i guess we'll just go ahead and knock that for the 380k yeah i'd be curious to see if there's any strategies that evolve with that thing in the future though i guess that's going to be the last like free collection log slot unlock though the rest of the stuff is all items and these capes that you get for completing kc so this is probably going to be what our logs looking like for a while most likely also for those of you who haven't seen the pet yet this is the pets i guess this guy and play got the pets it looks pretty sick it's one of the wardens it's all like ancient pharaoh mixed with industrial modern mechanization right kind of a cool little twist of concepts there i guess it's kind of like what old school is too like taking something old and revitalizing it with the new i don't know this might be a pb oops well, lost a tick, two ticks there. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I standing still? It just happens. The time resets like three seconds, so it must be something to do with instances. But it's definitely happened many, many times. Hey, that's my first ever sub one minute uh, Kefri puzzle thing. 59.4 seconds. You love to see it. You have to kind of get lucky with some of this stuff. I'm sure like probably like a 45 second one is possible. If you just like don't even stop running, you don't even check what the tablet says for the uh, number puzzle. You just like guess and you get it right. But I am happy with sub one minute for sure. Also, ever since we got the Osmemtens Fang, I can never remember what it's called. We've like skipped the egg phase right here. The eggs don't even spawn, which means we don't have to pray range. So we're saving prayer. I had coffee like a few minutes ago, so I am feeling good. It's currently 9 p.m., but I want to grind like five or a hundred more of these before bed. So I'm just on cloud nine right now, dude. Last thing I'll actually say though, that I actually has something substantive is our quick prayer is range and piety we will flick piety just to save a bit of supplies and we'll also one tick flick it on aka because when you're using melee he's attacking with range and so we can just save a bit of prayer potions there as well because we take in three which is kind of sometimes not enough if we get like bad rng on the rooms so now i will stop talking so here's what i was talking about with aka the fang kind of fucks him up too which is pretty nice and also while we're meleeing the shadows he's still attacking us with range so we get a lot of mileage out of this it honestly probably saves like close to like a whole prayer potion dude like not even gonna lie this kind of makes a big difference all right kc number 15 no tumakin shadow Ooh, look at all that guys that's like as good as it gets that's like actually insane wow that's like our fourth elite clue in 15 kc here i'm pretty sure it must be like a pretty reasonable drop rate i guess it doesn't really matter though because they've all been wilderness steps so that's a drop hey here's something that's not the same clip over and over again i guess um we ran out of rune arrows we started with 3000 4000 or so right before we came to tombs of a Mesquite, i did like 50 challenge mode chambers of zeric trying to get the ancestral hut so we did get those couple thousand rune arrows that we've been using up until now but now we ran out and normally what i do is just go to Priftinus and buy rune arrows for I think it's like 600 GP each if you buy 100 per world and so I was right in the middle of doing that as you can see here by these 100 arrows and then I remembered back to a YouTube comment on one of my videos recently that said that you can buy the rune arrow tips from the range guild and then just make the arrows yourself and it's like only 300 GP each so I guess we'll just do like 4,000 rune arrows that should last us for maybe like another 80 raids or so and it'll cost us about a mil and a half I have like 150 mill and nightmare zone so it's not really too much of an issue but yeah i guess if we like buy rune arrows for the entire grind up to a thousand tombs of a mascot that'll probably end up being like what like 10 or 20 mil just in rune arrows so kind of want to not have to do that but i don't really think there's any other costs really so we can definitely afford to do it if we absolutely need to two to the fourth kc for the no purple hey some dragon meds i'll take it man <laughs> 
Oh, hey, look, guys. This guy's name is Deceive. I always love a good RuneScape username. Ass Rocker. I like Deceive a bit more than that, to be honest. He said he got it at the name release. I think that happened like in 2014 or something, like a year or two after Old School came out. But I always like to ask people if they're the original owners or if they bought it because I've often thought about protecting all the GP on my main by buying a rare RuneScape username. Because as the value of the RuneScape gold piece goes down, every time more RuneScape gold pieces are printed into the game, the an expensive PVM drop, your RuneScape gold pieces become less valuable. You know, their value is getting debased through inflation. And if there were no more, like, Armidal chain skirts added to the game, the value of all the existing Armidal chain skirts would go up to compensate as the value of the RuneScape gold piece goes down. But because the supply of Armidal chain skirts goes up every single day, their value actually goes down over time. So not only are you losing out to the inflation of the RuneScape gold pieces, but if you're holding all your wealth in Armidal chain skirts, then you'll also be exposed to the value of Armidal chain skirts going down. So so it's like a lose-lose. And since RuneScape doesn't have any discontinued items that are tradable, buying a RuneScape username is kind of the only discontinued asset that you can purchase. You could kind of think of it as like a digital asset, huh? So like that name Deceive probably would have gone for like a couple hundred mil back in 2014. You know, if that, maybe like 50 mil. But nowadays it's easily worth one to two bill. And even if the value of the name Deceive actually stayed the same, when you're measuring the value in a currency that's being debased, it appears as though the value of the name Deceive actually goes up with time. And that's why the rich get Get richer and the poorer get poorer because every year that you're working a minimum wage job you're actually getting a five to ten percent pay cut via inflation even though on paper it looks like you're earning the same so yeah guys to avoid being stolen from through inflation invest those hard-earned gold pieces into digital assets like runescape usernames now if only there was a digital asset we could invest in in the real world he like really jams it fucking in there man look at that guy he's like all thrusts, no limits, no restrictions. <laughs> it's like, it makes sense that this thing gets two attack rolls because he really like, he really wants it. You know what I mean? All right, so when I start the final fight here, what I've been doing is I change the left click to this guy for begin. So I don't have to right click him. So I do begin and then I, well, begin, immediately spec. I lost a tick there, but immediately spec the thing because it'll regenerate by the time we need to be DDS in the Wardens. I'll tank the uh, Obelisk here until 78 HP, and that'll mean that the like upside down pyramid flesh fryers will be off tick. So here's one second memo spawn, go in. And now we just kill this thing. The Fang kind of fucking does work on this. Sometimes I can get it before this next cycle of two attacks, but looks like we're not going to get it this time. And this thing's going to hit a 39 when it comes in. So we'll be at like 18 HP or whatever. We'll drink the Ambrosia, dodge this last one. That's a really good value Ambrosia. That was like over 100 HP. So that's really good. One more hit. It'll nullify the damage if you do it while it's still coming. I'm not sure where the exact spot is because sometimes that's definitely nulled, but like sometimes it won't be nulled if it's like already about to hit you. But anyway, yeah, I just feel like I should have said that at some point and I didn't, but now I did. So we're all set. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure we just hit like 1 HP right there. Probably should have died. I took way too much damage during the Warden's fight. Whew, we didn't die though. 17 KC. No purple. But that means we completed 10 KC in the Expert Tombs of a Masket today, which is a pretty cool milestone. If you ask me, some Torstal Seeds and D-Meds. And yeah, if Experts are two and a half times as likely to give purples as normal raids, then we did 25 normal raids worth of uh, reward potential today, which is pretty fucking good. That's a good feeling. Um, I'm going to try and do like, I don't know, maybe one or two more tonight. It's already 1230 in the morning. So yeah, I guess I just said night and morning in the same sentence, but you guys know what I mean. Time's all relative anyway, or something, something interstellar black hole, time dilation, singularity, infinitely dense black holes, have no time, time's an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> This is what happens when it's 1.30 in the morning. I guess uh can't really do anything about that. <laughs> it's, uh, we, some, dude, I need a, the Arcane Scarab, the Major Scarab. I swear to God, dude, I T-bowed him five times and I just hit Zerb every single time. So like, I can't even do anything about that. So once out of every like, probably, I don't know, 10 raids, I just won't kill the Arcane Scarab and it just fucks up the whole thing. Um, Yeah. We're down to eight looting bags. I wish I had recorded what I started with this grind. Probably somewhere in the range of 50 to maybe 70 or so. Uh, so I'll have to go do some more LMS. I'm probably just going to do that now. Just because I guess my rating capacity is temporarily offline, it would seem. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, 
They have a oh, dang. They updated this place. I'm a Zerker. Let's fucking go. This is sick. I've never done Zerker pre king so I'm probably not going to do very well. I kind of just want the loading bags, but I'm down to play around a bit, I guess. All right, one defense pier is actually pretty sick. Everyone's got one defense, so everyone just like hits a fuck ton of numbers. It's really awesome. I think I'm going to go back. I just woke up, so I feel fresh. Just wanted to do a couple to start off the day here. And now we've got 22 loading bags, so we can wipe 22 times. Although I'm going to try not to wipe so much anymore i swear i get like addicted to this i get in like a groove where i just like get so many points and it feels so good so many looting bags i just like can't stop man i fucking love lms dude it's so fun i get to scratch my pk itch without having to spend ten thousand hours making a professional pk account plus you get all these like fucking sexy look at this look how sexy i am right now when defense peers get like the best fashion scape i swear like <laughs> if you see this guy in the wilderness man you're fucking running the other way yeah that's about right yeah okay i'm gonna do i'm stopping now i'm going i'm going we're going back we're going back guys I'll just like salt at the beginning of the fight so I don't have to worry about messing around with that but wears off like during P4. I definitely don't have the metal fortitude to go rummaging around through the supply box to find the summoning salt. I keep the claws up here with the infernal cape and torture. It's just a three-way switch when we want to do the beginning of phase four where he goes crazy. Got the ambrosia, got the bruise, and we're pretty much set, man. The main difference, shit, shit. Oh my god, the fucking lag, dude. Uh, okay. The main difference is what's about to happen right here. He's going to resume where he was in the cycle instead of always starting on the right, which is what he does without insanity. So we're going to react to it. Boom. We react to it if you stand all the way at the back you have like an extra tick or two i'm pretty sure of time to react to what his attack is so that way you don't have to like keep track mentally of where he is in the cycle you can just react to it and it's pretty fucking easy to not get hit by it and as you're seeing here i can actually like run a bit in advance from when it, like look at this just to keep my tebow hits online for as long as possible i'll often just like forward click into the thing the guy comes out we always pray range because he always starts with range we'll come back here so we can react what the thing is oh, it's nice that i feel comfortable enough to commentate over this because like normally i'm just <laughs> for the longest time i was just so fucking nervous i couldn't even fathom communicating any sort of ideas but those times are behind us so feels good man i'll just start off this phase by drinking the adrenaline while i slowly run up carefully avoiding all attacks it lasts for a minute and a half so you don't really need to worry about the timing on that and now he should be like close to dead i actually like to keep his hp off so i can't like see it i don't want to know what it is because if i'm getting low hp and he's low hp i'm gonna start getting nervous so, so I just know that we're dealing damage. I'm not even looking at the XP drops. I'm just trying to focus on avoiding the hits. If the damage comes, then it comes. If it doesn't, it's seven. Can't even talk. Okay. See, like, boom. <laughs> it's fucking hell yeah, dude. Oh, the nervousness sort of picks up right there usually, but... We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. The adrenaline claw spec right there to start off the final fight really, really, really makes it, like, way more free. So I love doing that. All right, another KC. 19 of the expert mode raids completed oh my fucking god dude yes oh my fucking god dude yes wow so many purples dude holy shit man oh my god please please be the missouri please be a missouri piece dude if if we could get the missouri it'll just be so fucking nice oh my god 19 kc we get another purple please missouri please missouri please missouri please missouri please missouri please missouri please please <laughs> oh Oh, jeez. Another ring. I guess that's our first duplicate. Um, Can't exactly be mad at that, to be honest. I don't know what those go for. What is that? Probably like 100 mil or something, right? So that'll be a nice payday for the main. I'm pretty sure they actually started skyrocketing with the last rebalancing with the new adrenaline potions. So yeah, let's go drop it over to the main and see how much uh, money we can get, shall we? I could uh, like drop trade it upstairs in some random building, but if I do it in the wilderness, it'll immediately appear for the alt. So the alt can just pick it up and let's go sell it. I think I'm just gonna drop it in for whatever the price it's going for is. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just say 50 mil. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's not even going for 50. So I was wrong about what I said a second ago. 49 it looks like is what it's going for. 48.5. 5 mil. Yeah, that's a nice little payday right there. That's like, uh, you know, 10 bonds or so. I guess like grinding a brand new raid the first few weeks it comes out in like an efficient manner. Probably a pretty profitable endeavor. Maybe we'll even get to our first one bill cash stack on the bond belt. That's kind of like a secondary goal, I guess, that we'll have. All right, man. 20 KC at the expert thing. Can we get the back to back? Imagine, imagine the back to back, dude. No back to back. That's okay, man. 24 KC. No purple 35 dragon stones and 11 rainers you love to see it also i never showed this but same with theater of blood if you like don't pick up your loot there's like this uh rewards niche over here that you can get your stuff and it turns into a false door 
when you've claimed your stuff or you have no loot to claim. So that's a pretty fun thing to talk about. 33 minute raid. One quarter of 100 KC, man. No purple chest. The double magic seed drop, nine torstals. You'll love to see it. Alrighty, guys. So we're running these experts pretty comfy, right? I think so. However, I think we can maybe even make it a bit more comfy. What I decided I'm going to do is instead of double trouble, I'm going to use feeling special, which means Akha's special attacks will be like twice as fast, the detonation phase or whatever, the memory puzzle. And that should speed up the fight by like a minute. And since we're speeding up the fight by a minute, we can go for jog for it instead of walk for it, which sets a 35 minute timer instead of a 40 minute timer if we beat the raid and 35 minutes then it'll be a raid level 300 and if we are go beyond 35 minutes it'll be a raid level 270 so i think this might be the new plan because we're getting like sub 35s pretty consistently every once in a while we'll go beyond but if it's feeling special active it should shave like a minute or two off every raid and we'll definitely be more securely getting those sub 35s so i'm pretty optimistic about this i want to see how it goes let's fucking get into it oh my god i just realized something he literally only does the memory special attack half as much now which means i can just attack him for way longer he's gonna do the special attack here <laughs> And with double trouble on, he would also do, this is the orb special attack. If I move, I'll get orbs that will like fucking murder me. But he would used to also do the memory special attack at the same time. But now I just get to keep attacking him because he didn't do the memory special attack. He's going to do it in a, on the next cycle, which means I can just attack him for like way longer. Plus the memory special attack is twice as fast, which means... Wait, if the memory special attack happens half as often and it's twice as fast, that means we're like spending a quarter of the time stuck in the memory phase where we can't attack anything. Holy shit. I didn't realize how good this was until right now. I can't believe I ever didn't do this. Wow. Almost 100 total KC. <laughs> we're just now getting this. Jesus, man. That's yeah, this is a big deal. Yeah, it's time for bed. I really wanted to complete a raid because that's what we're doing, but <laughs> I don't I don't think I can do it. I'm just too tired. So I keep fucking up. I never missed a one-way switch in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. All right, what's up guys? Just woke up. Uh, I decided to go back and look at that clip where we died last night because I really felt like nothing went wrong. I just thought I was like really tired, but I clearly clicked the claw switch and for some reason it just like didn't do that so yeah i guess that was just like a server null or something right it's unfortunate it wastes like 30 minutes when that happens but i've actually never been so blatantly violated in my life so yeah 11 dollars. damn that was a pretty clean kill dude we just like beat our last pb by over a minute i did wipe about seven times in between the last two kills but um yeah smash the old pb 27 kc no purple Ah, oh, yeah, some blood essence. The demeds will help with the wipes, of course. So we love to see that. And yeah, I am optimistic about this uh, new little indication scheme we got here. What's up, fam? Uh, somehow this video is already like just under 30 minutes. I only did like 20 KC this video. I guess I just like talk a lot or something. I also wiped a lot. There was a lot of time I spent that just got wasted because I wiped. Learning experts has been a process for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do like 100 KC every video like I did with the Chambers of Xeric series, but just know that I'm like trying my best here. It's kind of been stressing me out trying to get enough content for these videos. Um, I've been playing around with one idea, which is to just like upload bi-weekly instead of weekly for this series. That way I can like squeeze in more KC into each video so you guys won't feel like you're missing out uh so let me know what you think about that in the comments i guess if you just like this video that'll be a good indicator that you want me to upload weekly as well i really do appreciate each and every one of you i hope you guys never forget that so i'll leave you with the outro as always guys thank you for watching stay safe out there take care until next time i love you goodbye massive shout out to the youtube members at the silver tier we've got chester thornforge brendan christian toasty the wizard steinhardt nihilism rip ryan chicken noodles Sado Nexanizer RS, You Slow, True Boy, and Gangplank Main. At the gold tier, we've got Like a Wolf, Aea, Misks, David Boone, Kill a Queen, Robert, Nub, Todd Boyd, Christian K, and One with Everything Bagel. If you'd like to join the list of members supporting the continued production of the channel, feel free to get started by clicking the join button right next to the sub button underneath the video. Otherwise, cheers guys. See you in the next one.